Good afternoon from the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This is Mission Control Houston bringing you live coverage today of the launch of Northrop Grumman's 13th cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. You are looking live at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport of NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, where the Antares rocket stands ready to launch a Cygnus cargo spacecraft carrying about 7,500 pounds of research, crew supplies, and hardware to the International Space Station. And each Cygnus spacecraft is named after influential individuals in the world of spaceflight, and the Cygnus spacecraft for this space station resupply mission is dedicated to U.S. Air Force Major Robert Lawrence, who was the first African-American astronaut selected by any program specifically chosen for the Air Force's Manned Orbital Laboratory Program in June of 1967. Lawrence died in an F-104 Starfighter aircraft accident at Edwards Air Force Base six months later at the age of 32. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. The Falcon awesome Terry's NG-13 mission from Wallops Flight Facility. Engines at 100%. Attitude nominal. TBC's nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. Attitude nominal. Power subsystem nominal. Altitude 10,000 feet. Attitude nominal. Core system performance nominal. Engine and TVC systems nominal. Velocity, 1,100 feet per second. Attitude continues nominal. Max Q, attitude nominal. Power subsystem continues nominal. Altitude, 50K feet. Engine steady. 100%. Core BNG3 activated. Attitude nominal. 3,000 feet per second. Attitude nominal. Coming up on two minutes into the flight, they've passed maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Engine and TVC system remains nominal. 100,000 feet altitude. Two minutes into flight. Core pressure is nominal. Engine steady, 100%. A minute and a half to go in first stage performance. Attitude nominal. 150K feet altitude. Engine steady, pressure is nominal. Eight thousand feet per second. Core pressures are nominal. Engines at one hundred percent. Coming up on three minutes into flight. Low throttle down initiated. Miko slew maneuver initiated. Attitude nominal. Engines at 55% and nominal. Fourteen thousand feet per second, main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed, standing by for stage one separation. Upper ACS enabled, stage one sep.
stage one separation confirmed, the next milestone is fairing separation, which will come in about 40 seconds. Altitude 100 kilometers. Roughly 15 seconds to stage two ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. Fairing separation. Four minutes into flight. Interstage separation. Interstage separation confirmed. Attitude nominal. Stage two ignition. And stage two ignition Attitude is nominal. confirmed. Stage two is that solid rocket fuel that will burn for about three minutes and 43 seconds. Burnout will come about seven minutes and nine seconds into flight. Stage two will burn for roughly two more minutes. Stage two burnout. Stage two burnout confirmed. Cygnus now moving about 16,822 miles per hour. We have payload separation. Welcome to Verizon. And spacecraft separation confirmed. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. ignition start. Liftoff and Terry's NG-13 mission from Wallops Flight Facility.